Asthma, heart attacks, strokes. These are a few of the health dangers posed by soot inhalation, a problem the Environmental Protection Agency is taking steps to reduce. A new EPA rule will require polluters to cut the amount of soot they pump out by 25% in 2032. The agency claims the move could prevent up to 4,500 premature deaths every year and save people tens of billions of dollars in healthcare costs. But the move comes with its own price to pay. The EPA says compliance with the new standard could cost businesses nearly $600 million annually. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce warns almost 20% of counties in the U.S. would be in violation. Companies in those areas could choose to pull up stakes and head to nations with weaker standards. That has the potential to stand in the way of current and planned manufacturing and construction jobs that are key to President Biden's agenda. The president has repeatedly said he wants to increase domestic infrastructure projects and ramp up productions of technology currently made abroad. This includes EV batteries and computer chips, which will require the construction of new factories that will contribute to higher SUT levels. However, the EPA asserts the problem won't be as widespread as the chamber has projected. Based on measurements from their air monitors, the agency says only 52 U.S. counties would be above the 2032 SUT limit.